All right guys, welcome back. This is Belt Mike's Way, and I'm Mike, and today I found the cheapest coolest Ranger I could find. This thing has an SVO um, turbo coupe engine, stick shift, five speed, it's got the tree mac in it. So this was a super cool buy. I couldn't not buy it. This thing was 900 bucks. The guy that was building it just kind of gave up on it. Set around for years. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys know one of those projects or maybe even have one. And I'm gonna show you what I did to actually get this thing running. Where they messed up and uh, what problems they were having. So stick around and let's get this thing running. Nothing to it but to get to it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is a kind of a sweet looking Ranger. Got the old custom stripe down the side of it. Fiberglass step side, just like the old lightnings. We do have to try to get it running a little better. It only starts and then for a second and then dies. Starts, dies, starts, dies. So I know it has old bad gas in it because it smelled freaking terrible. And we have an oil leak from the turbo feed uh, at the top of the turbo. Um, so let's try to correct that. And uh, I added some new gas and let's see if we can get this thing to fire up and run for a little bit. Good. Got a big spark half inch away just about. Um, and it looks like the turbo drain is still leaking. I think our oil leak might be gone. Check one spark plug, seems a little, had a little soot on it, but nothing serious, uh, but wasn't real tight. Uh, not tight at all, actually. Turbo feeds back over here. I'm gonna grab a light and see if we can figure out what's up with that. That was basically loose, so I'm gonna clean it up, uh, wire wheel it, uh, we'll throw some uh, Teflon on it and uh, see if that helps some of the sealing. Smells like really nasty old gas still. <laughs> Okay, the, I just saw the bottom of the, the throttle positioning sensor. There's three wires hanging off of it, and half of them, are, the wires uh, are all, the covers are all broke off of it. So, I might need a new throttle position sensor. Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about it. And apparently, I did not fix my oil leak. I fixed one of them, I think. Okay, I think I found our problem. I don't know if you can tell, but those are mostly melted and charcoaled. Um, the wires don't look too bad back here. 
I am curious to see what they chopped off. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go get a schematic and see if I can figure out what these wires are, because I'm guessing those are pretty important, so. Back at you. Okay, today we're gonna start checking for vacuum leaks. Uh, see where we go. Um, I'm gonna put a little uh, pressure in the system with some air and see if we can figure out what's going on. Um, some of the aluminum pieces don't have uh, 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 bead rolls on the other side, so I'm gonna straighten some of them up, make them a little better, but we're just gonna go from there. All right, you can see the bead I made versus what comes on there. <clears throat> That's after I put a little pressure on it and uh, redid it. All right, so it's getting all smoky in here. For some reason, uh, when I unplug, I think this is the mass airflow now. Um, it seemed to start and tried to run a little better, so I'm gonna throw this, uh, throw the camera up and let you watch and see if we can get this thing running a little longer. Um, I did put a different PCV in it. Fuel pressure has not changed. I think they put this thing on backwards. Because air should be able to push through here. Yeah, I think they put this thing on backwards. It was supposed to be reversed. Oh my god. I think I might have figured it out. Let's freaking go. Let me switch this around and see what this does. <laughs> oh, I hope that's it. Um, it was smoking because it's running so rich because this thing ain't getting a reading, I'm assuming. So, let's swap it around. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be awesome. Okay, so yeah, they had it hooked up like this, and basically no air will go through. If you're looking down through there, air should be able to suck that in. So basically, this was facing towards the turbo. It should be like this. This is where your filter should be. It should be sucking that in and opening it up wide. They put this thing on completely backwards. That's what the problem was. Or part of it, at least. But I don't know. Well, let's see if I know what I'm talking about. We'll find out. Oh man, I'm excited. Sorry. Right this thing off. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one more time. They had this hooked up. This was where the filter was, so air should be able to pass through. If you turn it around, you put the filter over here, there's the uh, temp sensor, or uh, air temp sensor, and that's what allows air to go through. That's This is the filter side. They had it hooked up completely backwards. This is gonna be badass. I, I think we're uh, I think we're onto something now. Oh my god, if this is it. I'm praying. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, I just swapped the uh, mass error, I believe that's what it's called, around. Um, we're gonna try it again. Thank <laughs> you. 
also, congratulations, Jerry. Uh, we just put a new uh, 454 um, remanufactured engine into his uh, 89 Chevy 3500 single cab OBS truck. So that thing sounded good, fired right up. All we had to do is turn the timing again a little more. I actually just set it by eye, got the thing to top dead center, ended at number one, got lucky, set the timing. Uh, it ran for 30 minutes. As soon as we fired it up, ran excellent. So no leaks, no coolant leak, no oil leak. I'm really jealous. Like I helped him put, do the last bits, but I don't even have that good a luck. What the heck? So congratulations, Jerry.